Hello guys, welcome back to my Armenian Duduk channel. This is Karuna. Nice to see you after a long break. Uh, just walking right now, I uh, suddenly remembered uh, about some recent case. Uh, uh, one Duduk player uh, texted to me and asked uh, to order some reeds from Armenia and he even sent me uh, some pictures of his previous reads and particularly of uh, his best read he, he was having at the moment uh, but actually actually everybody of us like if you are even a very fresh green duduk player just a beginner you might already have uh, some read in your mind uh, which you normally refer to when you speak about a good sounding read and if you uh, are gonna buy some more new reads you would like uh, most likely refer to this read and um, uh, because you really liked it and uh, maybe you used to play it a lot it it was the read with the best tuning like on the duduk the tuning was like the most correct one with that read but uh, you have played it enough and now it's already worn out and the sound is scratchy that's why you're looking for a new one and you want something like same or or a similar um, myself uh, as far as i know the duduk business you know i know that every read is uh, very much unique like the duduk itself and you cannot make the same read you know like even if you ask the same maker uh, he will never ever be able to make the same read with the same sound and with the same like texture because the material was unique and uh, that year uh, when the plant grew was unique and like everything is unique about this but honestly if if i'm asked to to send uh, some pictures of the previous reads like uh, which you guys liked uh, to the maker uh, I usually do it I don't know how much difference it makes to him when he's gonna make new reads for you if those pictures would help him in any way I'm, I'm not sure about this but still I'm I like accept your request and I do what you what you want in this case but what I want to say um, that uh, reference read not only uh, us like, as the duke players uh, have it but also the duke makers themselves and even the reeds makers uh, because if the read was played enough and the material of the read was like really good uh, so you kind of uh, when the duke maker makes a new instrument he never uh, takes a new fresh read and tunes the duke with that new fresh read and uh, you might already know that uh, many times just a good instrument uh, doesn't sound in tune with a with a new uh, read because the read must be played enough uh, in a correct way even uh, so but with an old read which was played enough you can already be it's a, it's a reliable thing you even if the sound is not good anymore if it is scratchy and buzzy and what we don't like about reeds but still it is the perfect thing to to use for the duduk tuning so when the maker takes a new instrument and starts you know tuning so he he takes a very old read scratchy sound buzzy sound and he tunes the instrument with that one so don't be surprised if the instrument is not in tune a little bit you know if you get it with new reeds because new reeds must be played enough so that reference thing that Olympic read which you used to have in the past uh, this uh, my suggestion is even if it is not good anymore you better don't throw it away because in the future you can still make use of it when you let's say are going to buy a new instrument in the same key or maybe like a close key like not A but maybe G or B flat or something like that and the read was really good in tune you know it was played enough it was really reliable you could play it before people on the stage or whatever uh, so just take this read and you can test out the instrument to check out the instrument if it is in tune or not with that reference read so uh, i still have my olympic read 
which I used for recording the album. Now it's uh, not good anymore. If played softly, maybe I still can be uh, can make a little bit more or less enjoyable sound, but it has already this buzzy, buzzy quality about it. And if some beginner takes this read, of course the sound will be completely buzzy and he will think, wow, this is a very bad read. You see? I still can play it, but I cannot express my my heart fully in the music when I play a read which you know which cannot really take all the strength of my breath when I uh, when I blow this read, you know. So I must be really um, I must feel uh, safe with the read when I really want to express myself and to blow a little bit stronger. So the read must take it, it must be able to. Um, to follow me. So if it is not possible, the read is worn out, like this one. But I will never uh, throw it away, probably, because uh, I really test the tuning of other instruments with this one. This guy helped me to learn the Duke as as much as I as I know it now. So it uh, has done a great, great service, great job. And I'm not even taking away the, the ring. The ring is very good and you might probably know already how important could be the pitch ring if it is like a correct, a good one. So uh, many reads which I have don't have a perfect pitch ring. So a good choice probably would be to take this read and put to some other read, but I, I'm not doing that because this read is just, I have too much respect to it, you know. So I'm not touching it, I'm not uh, throwing it out, I'm not taking the ring away, and uh, like that. Reference ring. Actually, just right now, I suddenly remembered about one funny case. What happened to me when I was last time in Armenia. I was invited to Arthur Grigorian, to the Duduk maker. He just called me and asked Karuna, do you want to see Jivan Gasparian? He's gonna come just in a few hours to my workshop would you like to come and see him and of course i mean what kind of question of course i would like to come just even not if talking to him but just to to see him again so i came and i had my instruments and my reeds and this uh, read i was i was telling you about today the my reference read now uh, it was one of of the reads i had at that, at that moment and when jivan uh, saw it, actually all of them, he immediately pointed to that one and he said, this is the best read. You know, he even didn't try uh, the sound of it. Uh, so the sound wasn't already that good because it already was played too much So at that time. But just only from the very look of this, he just pointed to it and said, ah, oh, this is a nice one. And then he like took it and looked from every side and opened it but he didn't he didn't try to play he didn't do that and he also didn't ask me who was the maker of that read you know like what we normally do when we uh, see a good read immediately like who is the maker of it and uh, like that and maybe i would like also order from him Jovan gasparian didn't do that he didn't ask me this question but now i also understand you you know because he, he also knew that uh, even for the same maker who did it, it's not anymore possible to do the same thing. So you, he can try, of course, but there, are, there is no guarantee uh, he can repeat that success. I don't know if this video was of some use for you or not. Just some loud thinking of mine. See you again, guys.